What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hall of Nerds podcast. I'm Nate. I'm Brandon. I'm Carson. It's the return of the Mac. Yes, sir. And this time we are joined by a very, very special guest, our good friend, Kevin. Kevin Tran Art. How's it going, bro? Good, man. How's it going with you guys? Good, good. Thanks for coming on. And thanks everyone at home for tuning in and nerding out with us. We're going to start out with a good old fashioned Q&A, a a little interview, get to know you a little better, let the people at home get to know you a little better. I'll start it off with a basic, who is your favorite superhero of all time? Mm, uh, I have phases, but it's always been either Superman or Spider-Man. But right now, it's probably Superman. Hell yeah. W. Does that have anything to do with the current like Superman stuff going around and kind of like raising your hype for Superman as a character? Uh, yeah, I feel like for me, um, I'm big into whoever's like not popular in the moment at the moment. So like, I think around when No Way Home, like like after that hype was over, uh, I was getting into DC again, and then like surprisingly, it was a uh, Black Adam out of all things that got me into hey. it because it was like, oh man, Henry Cavill's back, and then it, he wasn't. But they're still making a new Superman movie, so I'm still pretty excited. Totally. Yeah, I think we all I think we all went through that for sure. That exact mm. feeling. Well, who would you say is your biggest inspiration when it comes to your comic art? Um I guess it's it's come and go. Like it's changed throughout like uh since I was a kid. Um, but the consistent people now, it has to be uh uh, Daniel Warren Johnson and um, Peach Momoko because their styles are very like uh, they're different compared to one another but those two are the ones that are really doing it traditionally um, that I really um, gravitate gravitate towards to mainly just because like their aesthetic the way they um, like their choices for certain like characters or faces or whatnot I got prefer over like uh, other artists but I do like the uh I, I do like Dan Mora Jim Lee I, I like all the, the top dogs but um uh to me I guess I like the uh like superheroes I like artists that are kind of like uh low-key or like they they have their certain thing about them that um makes them stand out a little more than um Dan Mora Jim Lee Jorge Jimenez um in my opinion 100% get where you're coming from great mm-hmm. picks yeah. yeah great picks and I, I could see the inspiration you could pull from you pull from them, but with your own added flair and stuff for sure. Yeah, yeah especially the you. use of watercolor yeah. like Peach Moko. Mm-hmm. I think the watercolor stuff is insane. Yes. Next level. Yeah. yeah. Next level. Appreciate it. Of course. All right, Kevin. What is your favorite comic book series of all time? Um uh, I guess like the one series uh, I really dig that I don't really hear too much um spoken or talked about is a uh, superman secret origin um i love uh gary frank's art mainly just because he draws him like uh christopher reeve and it's kind of like uh i guess if they were to make a superman movie today um and jeff johns wrote it he and he was still alive then that's basically what it would be and it's a cool little like um unique take on his uh origin um it kind of combines like everything that had came out um, in media when that book came out, like Smallville and the original movies. But um, that's probably like the one series that I'm like a big fan of. But um, besides that, I actually recently read uh, Do a Powerbomb by Daniel Warren Johnson. And that book is like great. Like the way he wrote it and drew it, it's like hopefully that goal, that's like, my Bible where I'm going to keep looking at hey. over and over until hopefully I make something like that one day, you know? Hell yeah. yeah. I got to yeah, read awesome. power bomb. I've heard great things mm-hmm. about it. I have it. I just, it's, a, it's on the read pile. I'll get to it eventually, but. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I, I still have a lot of my I read pile and I guess that's, that one has been on there for a while. So like when I got it, it was like, like my friend actually lent it to me he knew how much like of a fan I was and if that wasn't the case I'd it'd still be in my read pile but since I got it I was like I gotta finish this and it was y'all quick, haven't even quickly. seen a read pile yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read do a power bomb soon very soon I've been I've been meaning to I love Daniel Warren Johnson especially after Transformers and mm-hmm. I used to be really big into wrestling so I think I could pick it up and be pretty into it off the bat 
Definitely. I got yeah that that book kind of got me uh, not interesting but um at least excited for that new the upcoming WrestleMania with like The Rock and uh, yeah hell yeah dude. Roman Reigns it looks yeah. cool. Is the Rock coming back I haven't I haven't kept yeah up with bro wrestling since like yeah. 2013 I don't keep up yeah, with it too much guy. anymore but I, I I grew up on that shit so every once in a while I tune in hmm. all right Kevin what what do you like to draw the most like obviously you know um, McFarland he loves his capes. He loves his webs. What aspect of your drawings do you enjoy the most to do? That's a good question. Um, really good question. I really, uh, I guess I like drawing faces. Faces, uh, is fun. Um, it's it's challenging. I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's fun because, uh, I get every character. I want to not make it the same or person make it the same like face. I like uh, highlighting attributes of like. Like actors, for example, whenever I like uh, draw a portrait of an actor, um, I try to highlight the thing that makes him stand out compared to um, the other person. So just look for stuff like that. Um, and uh, everyone always says like the eyes are windows to the soul. So um, those pieces usually or whenever I do draw a face, they usually um, end up a lot more, uh, I guess, end up more successful, not like selling wise, but like looking at it, finishing it, I'm like, oh, okay, I feel satisfied because um, you see something or you feel something when you look at it. Hell yeah. That's mm-hmm. good. Yeah, that's I dope. Love, yeah. Dude, and uh, your lightning, I have to say, like, of all the things <laughs> you facts. sent me, of you, Drew, your lightning is insane. Like, it's chaotic, but it's also, like, uniform mm, in a way. Mm. Like, once I get, oh, dude, yeah, speaking I of. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so good, bro. I drew this oh, one, no. but no, nah, <laughs> dude, dude yeah like this one like the lightning coming off yeah. wally next it's level so like so sick so perfect Thanks. dude next yeah. level. i uh i think oh i like i don't know some pieces that i may have may or not have sent you i add splatter i like adding like i got yes. a paintbrush water and just freaking like go crazy and like uh make like something like oh. chaotic yeah i i, I could there's some like splatter those at on the, the bottom, bottom of this the... one yeah Yep, yep. Awesome. There's yeah, so many dude. different different techniques. These are insane. That's so cool. Well, the next question I have for you, it's kind of a two-parter, but what is your favorite comic book movie of all time? And what is your favorite movie of all time if they're different? Okay. Uh yeah, they are different. Um favorite movie of all time. I really uh I guess like away from like like sci-fi, like superhero stuff. Uh I'm a big fan. Uh, I recently just watched this movie. It's um, and it's like already up there is a uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind with Jim Carrey. Oh, that's nice. A good movie. Hell yeah, that's man. Good. Good. I love movie. Jim Carrey. Yeah, that's a great movie. Uh, great and pick. yeah, I I always loved Jim Carrey, but that movie like because he's like the least Jim Carrey in that movie. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I I, mm-hmm. I love that movie and like everything. It's all, like everything that it's about. It's it's a beautiful film. But for comic book or superhero movie. Oh man, I I guess there's just so many to choose from, but um, if I were to like lock it down into one movie, um, like it probably be like probably be the first Spider Verse. Yeah, the first Spider Verse was right. like the best. Um, like it's just I guess it just uh takes advantage of all the stuff that comic books have to offer, and it like highlights it and like, presents it like beautifully. Yeah, hundred percent, and it revolutionized yeah. animation. Like it, oh, yeah. Yeah. it was the yeah, first everything thing looks to like do that movie now. now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, literally. Those are some great picks. All right. If you could do the interior art for any comic character's ongoing series, who would you want it to be for? And who would you want to write that book? Mm, all right. Another good question. Um I do I guess uh as a first thing, or even like hopefully I I get like more offers, but I would always try to look for the characters that um, no one really likes or has not much to offer, like the underrated ones. So like for DC, uh, I would love to have, um, like, I would love to do a Martian Manhunter comic. Yes, <laughs> dude. Yeah, Martian Manhunter. And then for uh, Marvel, um, I guess, cause I'm Asian, I, I was big and really excited for Shang-Chi. And then now that he got a movie, um, everything that is after it's like for the movie but it it probably be him still even though he has a movie hell yeah yeah so yeah just those two 
those two and then for writing it um either one i i uh I'm a big fan of Mark Wade. You know, he's he's a goat. But um great pick. Dude, if Daniel Warren Johnson decided to write it and ask me to draw it, I would be doing that too. So yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, Martian Manhunter is a great pick. I don't know if you've it seen is. a lot of the episodes, but we we give a lot of Martian Manhunter. Yeah, we want Martian we, bring we, we want a Martian Manhunter yeah. run now. He, yeah, uh, he wrote a beta ray bill book, so um and drew it. And I think he'd be if they do end up making one, I wouldn't doubt him choosing to do that. That would, would be, be amazing. amazing. I don't mm-hmm. even think we thought of Daniel Warren Johnson for a Martian Manhunter. That would be perfect, That'd be honestly. Fantastic. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. He he made that Wonder Woman book. And um, yeah, I don't think Martian Manhunter is in it. It's just Superman and Batman, I think. Yeah. We so, need yeah. more Martian Manhunter. So great picks. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. What inspired you to become an artist? Oh, man. Uh, my dad, honestly, he. Uh, uh, when I was younger, the uh, earliest like, core memory of mine um, was uh, him drawing. And I guess uh, he showed me um, because I'm the oldest. I guess like, you know, he wants to get involved. Uh, he wants to get involved with the kids and then or with me and just trying to like, I just remember him showing me like, I guess, drawing some Power Rangers. That was like my, one of my first loves. Hell yeah. And then, uh, Spider-Man. So um and it was around Spider-Man three when that came out. Um, he re- he drew. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure you guys know the cover of the poster where it's like, it's like his hands like right here. He's looking at it and the like symbiote's taking over. Yeah. Like he drew yeah. it spot on. I guess like because at the time he worked for the newspaper like company and um they had posters on it when you know newspapers were still a thing, and um, uh so he had the image like a page before and then he would just draw it freehand like just like it and. I was just like amazed even as a kid and even though he taught me um it's kind of a hobby that I picked up and kind of developed myself just because um I guess I knew how to do it and then as I got older I I still enjoyed making art and um yeah so honestly thanks to my dad I um found like a found like a true like a true love like right away so I I always knew I want to I wanted to be an artist like ever since I was little that's that's awesome is your art similar to your dad's at all or is his style like completely different uh no it's completely different from what i remember because he hasn't been drawing um anymore i I guess ever since he saw me he was like i think my job is done so uh (laughs) but um he it's like more realistic like uh like he kind of used whatever was around like ballpoint pen and um it was just like like realistic and kind of like like you believe like whoa like you were impressed because it was just kind of like simple like material but it was more realistic and i'm more of a cartoonier artist which developed like over time because i actually prefer um that style over uh realistic art um when drawing like i like looking at like realistic art but when it comes to drawing i like doing more uh, simpler stuff because uh i guess i don't like to dwell on um the same thing for too long totally yeah, yeah. that makes sense especially in comic books because we, we always talk about how alex ross is a little bit too realistic sometimes for interiors but the more cartoony mm-hmm. like fun style is a lot easier to read and digest so totally. yeah yeah all right 100%. Kevin, what is your favorite form of media that you use or that you practice most mm, uh i guess besides watercolor um uh honestly not much to be honest i i have done markers i have done a mix of things because in, in high school um i we learned a lot of different like uh, medias because uh, I was in AP art, so our art teacher pushed us to explore and find what we liked. And um, not too much. Uh, I, I did most of everything in watercolor, like, stuck out to me because um, a lot of people would all, were always like, man, watercolor is so hard. Watercolor is so difficult. And I'm like, I'm going to get good at it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, watch. But um, Hell yeah. I, I love watercolor, but there was um, not screen printing, but it was like it where uh, you get like a plastic uh piece of like a piece of plastic that's like a like a like a plastic frame almost like what you would put in a frame and uh you lay like ink over it and then you get like a roller like a rolling machine you put that uh underneath and you put a paper underneath and then uh, you get the roller and you roll uh the ink over the uh paper and whatever comes out comes out and uh it would create really cool like uh um effects when uh it laid on the paper and um uh, i really like doing that but 
um, I try to find like aspects I like to not in watercolor. So watercolor has to be it. Oh yeah, that's dope. Yeah. That is dope. Well, you guys got any other questions you want to ask before we I had one more, but Max stole it, so I don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. You stole mine, I think, about what book you'd want to hop on. Oh, <laughs> so we, we switched. Yeah. <laughs> um all right, well, we can jump into Overkiller if y'all want to talk about that. So um, Kevin has his very own original comic that he's working on with his brother. It is called Overkiller. If you want to, you know, jump in, tell us a little bit about it, the plot, the process, you know, stuff like that. Let's take a look. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, from what my brother has allowed me to say, he said, if supervillains are bugs, then Overkiller is the exterminator. So, okay. um, <laughs> yeah, funny. yeah, yeah. So he, he, uh, he was trained by the most dangerous, uh, man on the planet, but had a change of heart and is trying to make up for his past by getting rid of supervillains the only way he knows how. So yeah, he's just, uh, on a rampage, almost John Wick style, you know, against the people that he's, he was close, close with, um, the change of heart. Uh, don't want to get too into it, but it will be revealed. And same with his like uh, identity and stuff like that. But for now, he is just the overkiller. And that's all you see. And yeah, but we we have a lot of like it's been a it's been a process to be honest. Uh, um, even working on the first issue, um, as I am right now, I honestly thought I would have had it done by WonderCon, but um, because I want to take more time on it, uh, by WonderCon I'm gonna have like uh, what they call like an ash can or a zine. It's just kind of like a preview comic of uh, what we have in store from what we oh, already yeah. have done. And um, yeah. yeah, but I will be selling uh, those stickers on the left, like stickers of the the one where he has the two guns on the left and then the helmet. But um, yeah, so this one, it, it's been a long, it's, a little, it's been a long process, but uh, I know for sure uh, we're both excited to see where it goes and what people think about it. I mean, that's awesome. Man. Looks is super badass. Thank is it hard you. transitioning from like doing like your portraits to doing like actual comic book panels, you know, smaller format, more like, uh, you know, you're leading a story instead of just like a still portrait of a character. Yeah, it's it's a lot harder. Like um, there is a picture, there's a scene where uh, we follow a few villains and they enter a bar. And that was like the first two pages. And the I guess reading comics was a big like goal of mine to kind of find inspiration find what I liked find what worked and uh, a lot of the time the first couple pages it's not many like not many words it's just the images tell the story and um that's what I like so uh oh, yeah. just drawing without like explaining anything is uh difficult because um I had to go through the first page like three times just to make sure I get it like just as good just as grabbing um as like the more successful comics make it happen. Hell yeah. 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 Uh, I'm excited for your visual storytelling. I cannot wait. Because like obviously like your portraits and everything I think are amazing, but I cannot wait to see the way you tell your brother's story through the art of it. Hundred oh, yeah, percent. I've you, seen man. the first four pages and amazing, dude. Um, I <laughs> Thanks, you told bro. me some things that I don't know if I'm allowed to mention yet. So if you want to mention <laughs> anything to the pages, I'd love to talk about it. But if not, I can, you know. Oh um yeah uh, I guess I would have I would have brought them, but I guess it's just a wait and see. I get, uh, yeah, I'll, right. I'll, get you, I'll send you guys some copies by the Stay time tuned. Uh, I feel pretty good. Yeah, feel pretty good with it. Awesome, man. Hey, man, it looks badass. All I'm going to say is you don't need to touch on it, but those guns <laughs> don't look normal. That's not normal smoke. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm, excited. I'm, I'm excited to see what's going on. And hey, the helmet, the suit, that looks badass, man. Yeah. Thank you. What was uh I mean your bro what is your brother's biggest inspiration for the character? Like I know it's get I'm getting heavy like Deathstroke vibes, Deadpool vibes, stuff like that. Yeah, Punisher. yeah. Punisher. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh actually uh out of all things, it was um Bloodsport and Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad. That is I just watched Hell that again. Oh yeah. That's like yeah. That's awesome. Sound so more sick. Bloodsport though. So if you if you already if because you just saw it, um that's a big uh i guess like inspiration but um so are uh the mandalorian um Ooh. so is uh miguel o'hara from 2099 so Ooh, kind of okay. like kind of imagine like 
personalities, character traits, and see where it goes with um, that. And kind of like whatever those come out with is what our character is, you know? That's yeah, awesome. he's he's yeah. yeah. He told me he, he told me I could say he's a pretty serious dude. So he's uh yeah, he's not one to be messed with. But um, uh-huh. but he he uh, this is only his comic, and we eventually wanna we we already are planning to make our the second issue, but it's not his second issue, but it's our second issue, and it's for the team in our universe, and um mm. he's on that team and. With him being the most serious, everyone else is like the fun, um, like the heart. Like there's different members on the team that like I guess get him out of his shell, but he's like the rock, the like the Miguel O'Hara, you know, the Hell serious yeah. dude. Yeah. That's and with dope. his name being the overkiller, I see the guns, I see the swords. Does he use like a vast armory of weapons or does he have like a specific weapon that we're gonna see him use the most, you know? Like his, oh, yeah, his specialty. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a vast, like it's a absurd amount of stuff to be honest. That's okay. why like, I got overkill with the part. overkiller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hell like, yeah. He's a little much, but yeah. Are we gonna see it get like gory at any points, or are y'all kind of sticking to more like a kids audience while also keeping We're, it kind of? You see that one picture with the sword? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's it's it could get brutal, but even like the like. Not the most kid friendly stuff, but we're trying to keep it at the mo- like a general audience where it's like it's brutal, but we're not gonna try to delve deep too much in the gore, but we're not gonna not have that in the book, you know. So it's yeah. kind of you're like, not doing like Ryan Otley level, team. like just split in yeah. half, rated <laughs> T. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And is asking way too many questions. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm interested, but uh, but it's. it's Invincible was a big inspiration, actually. Um, it's when the sh- when the show initially came out. Um, uh, he we had another character that developed into something else in our that would be featured in the next book. But um, I guess the blue and yellow kind of stuck with Overkiller, and uh, it's funny too because uh, when um, Peyton uh, two turn two and Stark put out his mm-hmm. character, his character is also blue and yellow. <laughs> so I just think that's kind of a it's a, a trend for like it's a goaded color comment combo. Yeah. I, yeah i love yeah. blue and yellow yeah like the chargers but, um fire yeah the chargers fire, fire yeah. color i don't know <laughs> yeah but um i agree and uh, it works but it honestly to answer your question it's kind of a mixed bag like the goriness level like i wouldn't close off the idea for it to go uh more intense but um we're gonna try to do our best to kind of make it um approachable for everyone to read okay Sweet. hell yeah mm-hmm. that's what's up yeah i can't wait yeah I, me too i i'm drawing it and uh reading the script that he wrote it's uh it's pretty exciting to see where it can go and i have a few art friends who are big uh who, who have made their own comic books and uh hearing their like um tips and tricks and kind of like what they think um it feels good you know it feels good i'm like the whole process is very fun and uh, that's honestly why I, I, I was like really like straight up pushing myself like rushing it but um but not like making it like suffer because of that so really realizing like i should take my time on it um is giving me more time to really like think more about like what i want to do and um make it the best we can make it you know totally mm-hmm. well i'm looking forward to it me too. Well, I think everybody here has seen the newest episode of Invincible, season two, episode six. Phenomenal, Just did. in my opinion. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. Except, yeah. Dude, little, pretty little baby, little baby, um, all, Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> Dude, he's like the, his face. It's just the face for me. He looks just like it looks just like Mark, but they just made him purple and smaller, and like it, it looks like a little man to me, not like a little baby. <laughs> well, my criticisms with the last episode were the animation. I didn't see a single like thing wrong with the animation in this one. Like, I think there were bits and pieces of the last episode that I saw, but this one I didn't see a single problem. I thought they handled the emotion just amazing. Like that's what it, the whole episode felt like. It was just like a lot of emotion, a lot of character building. Yeah, and Rex has moved up so much on like my favorite oh, character. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah like, wait, that fool's alive. What the hell? Dude, yeah, up, yeah, up, you know, he just like, when he no stood way. back up, I was like, uh, "No way, this can't, him. this can't be real." But I, he tanked it, I guess. I, 
and now he's just back. He's, I, I liked I liked the one part that like kind of makes you think about how they were talking about you know we're superheroes and we spend our whole day um, helping people just to hurt the people that are closest to us. And I was like, damn, that's damn. Because <laughs> yeah, that definitely fired yeah. up some. It's crazy because again, it was panel for panel from the comic. Like, I mean, not as much yeah, diving deep into the characters, but it like, especially when Rex got up and just started swinging on the dude. Except, after- I thought I thought the shrinking chick was like actually supposed to die. I, I think she was. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure she is. So they might be bringing her back for something else. That's what I'm. Thinking. She was alive. Remember, she came back and she comes out of the dude's body mm-hmm. in the in the comic too. Oh no, no, I don't know about the comic. Yeah, I have, I have to yeah. Back, but... We're wondering, but well, because me and Brandon figured out like, you know, why Rex is alive last episode. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's still got. He has. Yeah, he plays a pretty big part later on. Mm-hmm. He's got that dog in him. But uh, the sequence though, the sequence, I totally forgot. I was crazy. Like, oh, they defeated the sequence, and I'm like, oh wait, no, I forgot that they have like a whole. Yeah. On. Dude, I didn't even put it together. I don't know why. This is just Invincible's versions of Starro. Like I watched uh, yeah. the the Suicide Squad last night, and then I was watching the new episode today. I was like, oh, this is just Starro. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah pretty 100%, much. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh, I'm kind of tired of them. I'm not gonna lie, but like I totally get it. Um, the like sequence? when they were done with the arc and they they defeated him, I was like, thank God. And then he like coughed the one up at the end, and I was like, ah, yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, damn, yeah, I was right, getting right. sick. I was like, bro, just come on, bring bring conquest, <laughs> please. Whoever that is. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I, I just meant conquest as in like a term, not like a character. Um, I don't. Doesn't matter. You're not spoiling. I mean, I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know who that is. I haven't yeah, read honestly, the comics. Yeah. I I thought when you guys were talking about the episode, I thought you were talking about last week's episode. I oh. didn't realize another one even came oh. out. So like, oh, oh, well. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no, but uh, uh, I mean, we... I'm excited to watch it now that you guys are excited. About it. Like after this, yeah, we can stop talking about it. We don't have to say anything. Else. Yeah, good I episode, mean, oh, a good episode. There is there was an in credit scene that was amazing for all people who did watch it. Um, okay. Yeah. That was pretty okay, awesome. Cool. Yeah, we get I do not mind. Really awesome. Continue. But you said you did watch the uh, X Men '97 two episodes. Yeah, yeah, watch that. That was that was peak, bro. That yeah, was dude, really it's good. peak. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know too much of X Men lore, so I'm kind of like, oh shit. Like I know yeah. I know enough, but then like, for example, I didn't know Rogue, and because I also haven't watched the X Men '92 since like dude, that I was a child. So I was like, wait, Rogue oh, is wild. okay with Magneto since when? No, I, I didn't know that either. Dude, I haven't watched it yet. I have no yeah. idea. I mean, I don't care about spoilers for it, but like, I had no idea that was a thing. Dude, don't don't yeah. get me so weird. On, don't get me started on like, Gambit. Whoa, Gambit, Gambit in that freaking um. Bro, he's all sad, bro. The crop top. Yeah, yeah. It was all yeah. sad, bro. In I was the like, crop top. what's going on here? So yeah. was that? I don't remember. Was that a plot point in the old show? I, I think remember. it was. I was talking to my buddy Trent about it. It was in the comics mainly that they had a little relationship going on. But Magneto has also had a relationship with so I well, think hey, so he cute. pulls, yeah. Magneto pulls, yeah. but like <laughs> yeah, he but, okay. storm too, didn't he? But dude, yeah, storm, yeah, and storm, storm, and storm. Dude, storm, storm doesn't bro. That's, I'm hurt, bro. I'm so hurt. I love storm. Dude, I I'm so like, hurt. They gotta fix that shit ASAP. Fix it ASAP, bro. I'm hurt. Wait, what's the problem? She loses her powers. She loses her abilities. The uh the uh Yeah, exact that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened to her <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no more lightning <laughs> no okay but Not I've, got, dead, I've got but... some i've got some things to oh. talk about though for my buddy trent so it's when gene goes into labor and wolverine shouts out um who's here is it apocalypse when he's like freaking out that shit was hilarious um, it's interesting that he says um is it apocalypse because apocalypse is the one who gets nathan their kid who is cable which it might be cable their kid might be cable which gives cable his um it's called his techno organic virus which is how he's able to travel to the future so there that the little baby might be cable okay wait 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 is cable <laughs> in the comics is cable uh cyclops and gene's son yeah yeah, yeah. it's okay i never so, knew that gene- yeah, that'll show how much <laughs> i know about x-men yeah like, i do wait, well, gene is pregnant <laughs> not anymore it's not the whole yeah it's not here's gene. the thing is that Gene she got Gene. Madeline Pryor. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, Gene and right. Gene Cyclops. Right. Gene comes back at the very end. Yeah, I was good. That Gene. Well, I, I, y'all think 
So y'all think the one who I showed think the up gene was that came gene. to the door is the real because once they showed yeah. up, I was like, okay, one's Gene and one's Madeline, but I just because didn't I know. I think it's the, the Gene from the the Phoenix saga that happened in the original show because I'm pretty sure she mm. like dies. Oh, so we about to see is, Cyclops leave his 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 wife and baby for Gene, just like the comics. I heard about that. <laughs> All I say is Cyclops is him though. In the comics, I never really like liked, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna tie it in pretty. They're gonna rewrite whatever they need to do to make to make it make sense because it always was a little confusing for me. Well, Gene Gene isn't Nathan's or Cable's or whatever the baby's mom in the comics. Um, her you clone just, is Madeline. So, oh, yeah. okay. That's so, okay. That's what I thought. So that's why thing, I, is that, I just is asked y'all. Y'all said is yes. That the girl is that the girl that just gave birth? That could be Madeline, and it might not be Jean. Jean might be the girl that came up to the door at the end of the second episode. Yeah, that's what we're yeah, saying. It is. Okay, 100%. wait, wait, wait. So run that back. So Jean is not Cable's mother. You guys just no. lied to me. Uh, Correct. So, so that's why I was shocked. Woman, I, okay, I thought it was Madeline. He's that's a clone. I, he's a clone. So woman, really, yeah, 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 I knew that. Yeah. But the woman that gave birth is Madeline. Yeah, Madeline. That yes. And okay, see, is, I, that's what and, I thought it was. And then I asked yes. you guys if it's Gene, and you're like, yeah, that's his mother. I thought and it was Gene oh, yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is probably the girl, if, if, as okay. long as that's how I'm it's back working, on track. Gene is the girl that came at the end of the episode. And it was like, I need the X-Men. Yeah. Speaking of the X-Men, I'm track. I do not like anybody but Professor X saying to me my X-Men. I didn't even like it when Cyclops said it. I don't like bro. it when Magneto no, when Cyclops said it. said it, it was Cyclops said it, it got me hyped, bro. Dude, I was, I was gassed. So I was like, I'm ready. I'm an X-Men now. I, I'm like, I was, let's go. I'm on him. Let's go. <laughs> I was hyped, but it's also like, nah, that's like, that's like Spider-Man like going chimichanga is like, you know, like, you know, if Deadpool ever died or something. I mean, like, it's, it's that, that would be hilarious. fair, so. but like with Charles dead, somebody had to step into his shoes and like basically become him. And I feel like that's what Scott tried to do. Yeah, he Whereas, just doesn't like, seem ready Mag- for Magneto it. Magneto will be, yeah, and I think that's well, why Magneto, Magneto doing will it. I feel do like it he just, he's just saying it to be petty. I feel like he's like mine. I'm iffy on if Magneto mine now. is going to turn over a new leaf or not. I'm, I think I'm, he is. I think he I will. Think he's still going to be kind of on his own BS, but I think he's going to be the man, the X Men that like that the X Men need, and that I think he's going to be also the man that the world needs. Where it's like, like the episode, he's like. He's like, this is what happens. You sided with us, or you like, you gave me a fair trial. That's the whole reason. These people don't want to respect us. Don't think we deserve this. They don't see us as humans, and we're not. And he's on his whole, you know, um, superior, uh, homo superior, you know, stuff. But it's also like, I think he's, I think he's going to become a better person. I agree. I have I'm no loving it. Going on. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. I hope. I hope we just get. I hope we get some more X Men. I think I'm super. It's super sick. Sunspots in it. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been liking Jubilee. I hope we get Nightcrawler or Iceman. Colossus. I hope we get what's his name back. The dude in the first episode. He was cool. I, well, I Nightcrawler like is coming back. They released the uh, X Men ninety seven retrofix and Nightcrawler. Yeah, exactly. But, so but Morph turned into half the characters in the yeah. first two episodes. Dude, yeah. the Morph. Uh, dude, that was the MVP in my book. Morph was dope. Morph yeah. was going Sick. crazy. Morph was yeah. Crazy, yeah. Wait, Wait, can more use their them? powers or just turn into them? Like turn into he gets their, their powers. He can use their powers, yeah. but not like the like full extent, OP right? Character then, or yeah. it's not. He can't do it to their full extent, though, right? Or like X, he can only do it for a certain amount of time so. or something, right? I th- yeah, Probably. because like, for example, if he turns into Wolverine and like gets his head cut off, he's not gonna regenerate his head, is he? I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah, I guess never. Like, I think he'll have his claws maybe, but he's not. I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not 100. percent I mean, you, you saw him turn into. Was it? Did he turn into Angel? Is that who it was? Or yeah. Was it, I mean, yeah. He yeah but see, that's like there. literally oh, dude, just like dude, part the of the way. I, I'm pretty sure it's happened in a different X Men animated thing, but the way Cyclops used his beam yes. to glide yeah, down, bro. Well, that was that's so hard. He was going that's so crazy. Did, that's his. When origin, they did the skydive, he, I thought I was like, "Where's his parachute?" And then he just freaking shoots a beam, and I was like, "That was sick." No, okay, so that's, so that's also Scott's origins is in the comics. He was in a plane and he falls out of the plane and he that's how he's um, he's doing that to like make him fall. But he hits his head so hard that it scrambles his X gene in his brain. So that's why he has to wear the visor or whatever, because he can't. That's why he can't turn off his laser vision. Mm. The, this is why we have a Marvel specialist on the podcast. Right here. <laughs> no, no, that's why. That's why you watched the X Men show with Trent because he was literally telling me 
everything I need to do. And I was like, okay. I was like, yep, keep talking, keep talking. Yep, yep, <laughs> no, that's good. That's he's like, make him look smart. Yep. Let's go. He's like, I'm gonna have so much to say at the podcast tomorrow. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make them all look so dumb. <laughs> Man, I, I it was great. I can't wait for more. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I I can't wait to watch it for a first time. That sounds good. <laughs> Facts. Um. Well, we had one more talking point, uh, just like the best legacy characters, because there was a um, there was a tweet going around, like asking which character was the best legacy character. It was kind of a debate throughout Comic Talk for a little bit. It was Miles Morales, Sam Wilson, Wally West or um, uh, Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond. And I thought we could just talk about the best legacy characters in general, not necessarily the best of those four. And um, but who is your favorite legacy character, Kevin? Uh it's gotta be dick grayson like he he's the okay. best even though he's his own person now um still like i guess they're their own versions too that they're their own characters even though they take on different mantles but um i see when i think of like legacy character because he's like so like, he almost as old as batman um he's up there he's up there with uh oh he's he's on the top actually <laughs> like Hell yeah the best yeah. legacy character so yeah, that's it's gotta be Nightwing for me or Dick Grayson. Oh yeah, can't blame that's him. Awesome. I'm gonna say I will say everyone talking about like with the it's Wally. No, it's Miles. I think it's Wally, but I do think there's a people person who's getting left off this list that could debatably be above both of them. I don't know about Wally though. It's Jaime Reyes. People are sleeping on him. To a lot of people, yeah. Jaime Reyes that is, is the Blue Beetle, and yeah, and now he got a live action I, movie. You can't speak. You can't say that. I think for Miles. Jaime you can't say that for Wally. You can't Miles say that for. Is. About yeah, because they're both the only like, one with a lot only legacy character with a live action movie and his true. own his own. True. What did Barry Allen be a legacy character? Hmm? Yeah, Barry, Barry Allen. Barry Allen be a he is a legacy. Barry Allen yeah, legacy but would be legacy. True. That's but kind he of is true, like because he's also like I mean, he's Jay, still Jay, Wally is such a great legacy character. He makes Barry look like the legacy character. That's how good of a character. No, I, I don't know you. about all that. Well, but, I mean, a lot of people, Wally is the main Flash to a lot of people, you know? But the, to the majority, it's Barry. I feel that's like just, it depends. That's just, re- that's just, just like, not the majority of comic book it. fans. I, I feel like it people, was Wally until... Humans. I feel like it was Wally until the Flash show. Like, yeah, if there was possibly, a Flash show, it'd still be Wally. Every, every live... The, there's, there's been three live, ad- live action adaptations now, and they're all Barry. Just yeah. things from, like, 80s to, like, what 2010 yeah, only, is like Wally only comic Wally. book readers only people that read comics yeah, not necessarily also, people that are into superheroes and people that are into movies like it's definitely well, Wally's the, the only the legacy 80s. character that's that's like actually come close to not if not actually like surpassing or be on the same level as his pre- like his uh predecessor or whatever where miles is still you still have to say spider-man miles morales you have to otherwise people are going to think you're talking about peter if you just say spider-man peter, yeah where the flash yeah. you might say the flash and some people might think wally the majority i still think the majority are like whether i like barry more or not i think you say the flash and the majority of people are going to think it's Barry. It's be but there's barry, still a barry lot Allen. there's still a lot that are going to think Way more that are going to think Wally compared to Miles. I, I agree, I but I also agree with Stu that I but think the CW show Beetle? is what did that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because Ted Cord's kind of like, oh, the yeah. When it comes to Blue yeah, Beetle, no Blue one Beetle. like the 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 world, not necessarily just comic book fans. Who knows who Ted Cord is? Let, yet, let alone Dan Garrett. <laughs> yeah. Dan uh, Garrett. What are you yeah, talking about? Him. Dan Garrett, the original Blue Beetle, <laughs> <laughs> the OG, the, the OG. OG. my favorite character Dude, of all speaking time. Speaking of that, I just caught up on Blue Beetle. Peak. Peak. Yes, Peak. it is. Yeah. See his own solo run right now; it's going crazy. Blue. Like I'm saying, Blue Beetle. People are sleeping on Jaime as a legacy character. He's up there. I do agree. Yeah, he's, I'm not saying he's the best, but he's. I up didn't there. realize. I didn't realize that Green Chick was the Green Beetle until this. Uh, well, issue. yeah, like Green Beetle, Yellow be- Beetle. Well, it's because they're they're technically not Beetles. I think they're just referring him to that because they're not from the Reach. They're from the Horizon. Yeah. To be honest, okay. I, are they? But okay, basically, I, I think it's pretty same obvious, thing. And I might be stupid for just now, like putting it together. But it's no, like you a Power are, Rangers you are. thing that they're doing. A what? Like a Power Rangers type of reference, right? For what? Like for the, all the different colored beetles. Yeah, uh, possi- like, possibly. I mean, it looks they look I mean, very similar to Power Rangers. I mean, my, Power Rangers. My first. My what first. What came first? Power Rangers. All or the Beatles. Uh, Probably Power, Power Rangers. Rangers yeah. Sure. 
Because my the first introduction like, to the Reach and like all Ted the Core, Beatles was in right. Young Justice. Like that's the first time I ever saw Green Beetle. Wait, but when's or Black the like Beetle. their actual? I have debut. Uh, my guess like is Reach. I, I would say it's Ted Cord, right? Two thousand nine. They probably uh, debuted with Tiny Ted Cord, yeah. though. Definitely yeah. not Daniel Garrett. Or you think they de- they didn't debut Tell Jaime? Yeah, I don't think they the did Reach? because initially it was an ancient artifact with Dan Garrett and then Ted yeah. Cord explored it. And then and we that's why in the get, recent uh, one, it's like, is it alien? Is it magic? Is and it, then yeah. Blue Beetle got his own run prior to Infinite Crisis. They had his little two-volume Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes, whatever. The, uh-huh. the Reach were yeah. introduced in Blue Beetle, volume 7, issue number 12. Which was Reach first Ted appeared Cord? as part of the New 52 DC Universe in Blue Beetle. Volume oh. 52. They were their first was a new 52. That's what it says. The Reach was created. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, okay. So definitely so Power they're, Rangers they're, is before. Then it's probably got some inspiration. Was, their first appearance was Blue Beetle, Volume 7, number 12. However, in Prime Earth main continuity, it's Blue Beetle, Volume 8, number 1, which I think takes place right after Brief. Infinite Crisis. I think. Is that okay? So okay, either way, it's probably it's probably inspired from Power Rangers, but dope. This is I'll say top three legacy characters for me: Wally, Miles, Jaime. I would have put Dick Grayson higher, but just because he's not a direct legacy, like he didn't become Batman. He yeah, yeah I, w- I would. Otherwise, say I have he'd the be same list as he'd you, be number except one. Except I'd switch Terry for Jaime. Just personally, because I feel like yeah, that's fair. I feel like Terry's I love the only Jaime person I that's really have. became Batman or like close enough to him. I'm that's actually totally stuck valid. on your Nate. Your list and Stu, your list are like I'm stuck on because I'm stuck between Jaime and Terry. But I have the exact same first. I think Miles yeah. is second place. I think I've loved Jaime for oh easily yeah a long time. Miles will one day be out of Peter's shadow, but he's not yet. See, I don't know. I will see. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna switch movie. his name. Yeah, exactly. I think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna stick Spider Man forever in main continuity. He should be a spider dude. Like pull spider, pull something like spider Nightwing guy, dude, you know? <laughs> or like you go off and you become your own person. I feel like that that's much needed for Too Miles. bad he can't be Spider Boy because it's taken and he's goaded. <laughs> yeah. Spider Boy, the best legacy spider character teen. of all time. Spider Teen. Spider Teen. Or maybe we could oh, see teen. Miles become Spider Man and Spider Man adopt a different name, possibly. Like Spider Gramps. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. yeah, you I old think, spider. spider uncle. <laughs> like, there's you can get rid of like, or you can't really, but like you can you can age up Ted Core. You can get rid of those guys and kind of put it on the back burner. Peter Parker is a character we'll you can never Spider Man. Yeah. No, that's not what I'm saying. Shut up. What I'm saying is, <laughs> it's like you can't just get rid of Peter Parker Spider Man. You know, like he, no, he's can't. not a, he's like, not a character that will ever be on the back burner. It's always gonna be. You know, Peter Parker, he's always going to have a run going. Right. Like, My- Miles Morales can that's... take over the amazing Spider Man run. You know, like, that would just make people mad. That's always going to be Peter Parker's main story. Now you see how I feel. Yeah. Cause it's like, it's a moneymaker. Economically, you don't want to lose Spider Man, just like you don't want to lose Batman for DC. That's why they got so many Batman runs going constantly. It's because it's it makes good money for DC. If there's Batman on the cover, it's most likely going to yeah, sell. Of yeah. course. Unless Zeb oh, Wells is writing it, then it's still, but it still sells. It's still selling. That's yeah. that's crazy. It still sells. Yeah. Like people yeah. are still buying Spider Man. I'm yeah. I'm still buying it. Sadly, just, <laughs> I just get a, a cover here and there. That is it I like, better now? I don't think... Like, is it is it getting no. better? No, it's getting worse. <laughs> okay. It's debatably getting worse. Oh, okay. but I haven't not... I haven't read it in a, in a it's while. It's not good. But let's yeah. move on to guess the artist. Basically, we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, segment here i pulled 15 different comic book artists i got um a page a panel a piece of artwork that they've done and basically i'm gonna just we're, we're gonna go through them show the boys first person to call out who that artist is gets a point you only get one guess per um artist though and the winner is gonna pick the order for our best comic book artist draft at the end of the episode so Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Not gonna be me. Let's get with it. With the first artist we have. Jorge, Jorge, Jorge Wait a minute. Oh, that was Stu. 
Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know. I thought there was gonna be like a guest the artist title first. I didn't know it was gonna pop up immediately. Nah, Absolutely like, not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Next right. up, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm okay, ready. Man. Absolutely. Jim Lee. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Dang. The I thought the X threw me off. Maybe throw him off. Yeah, it did. Maybe just because when you think Jim Lee, you normally think Batman. <laughs> Yeah, I think right. Jim Lee. I think of X Men. Yeah, yeah just, cause cause I like Claremont. Do too. The Claremont yeah, runs sure. and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, iconic stuff. All right, next All right. up, boom, Peach Mocha. Oh, I want to give that. To, I think it was Kevin. I'm not even. That was Brett. Are, are like, y'all lagging? Am I lagging? Third, maybe. I lagging? Maybe <laughs> that's not that's not Kevin's fault. Lag spike. I was gonna this, this earlier before we started. This was the one that I was like, if you guys don't get in 0.5 seconds, that's ridiculous. Did you? Did y'all even hear me say anything? <laughs> I heard no. everyone say Peach Momoko at the exact okay, same yeah, time, I and I thought I heard Kevin's me. first. So, all right, all right, all right. Are we ready? I'm ready. Boom. Uh, John, uh, John Romita. Who said it first? Peter. Who was first? Yep, yeah, it's Dicko. <laughs> oh, is that not? Ooh. It's not. I thought it was John Romita Jr. Or just I thought it was not. Dicko, but I did not want it. Yeah, it's Dicko, what? Steve Dicko. The Marvel art's gonna kill me. All right, <laughs> next up, ready, <laughs> set, boom. Alex Ross. Uh, Alex Ross. Alex, dude, I am. Kevin's cooking. <laughs> Kevin makes sense. This is cooking. his wheelhouse. This is his wheelhouse. So. <laughs> all right, all right. Next up. All right. Boom. Uh, Dan Moore. Moore. Uh. <laughs> <Brent. laughs> uh. <laughs> that one literally felt to, in my ears it was all the same so i'm gonna give it to brandon just because at least Stu already has one on the board what about mac oh, thank you for the pity point. <laughs> I, didn't say I heard I, didn't I, say I heard <laughs> i heard mac or Stu and brandon at the same time okay 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 <laughs> all right next up boom uh just a that yeah was, was that, that you, dude i don't want to say gary it's not i knew it wasn't gary Frank. kevin was that you it was Kevin. That was me. Dude, yeah. W's in the chat. I thought that one was maybe going to get y'all a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. I was like, it looks, I know his name. I just couldn't, couldn't think of the, the words to say. You nailed it. Yeah, right. that's where I was. Next up, y'all ready? Yeah. Boom. Um, uh, Jack Kirby. Jack, Jack Kirby. Kirby. Yeah, Jack Kirby, Brandon. Yes. yes Good stuff. Good stuff. Next up, boom. Gabriel oh, uh, Gabriel. Yeah, Dang. Kevin Dang is cooking it. it but can we take Dang. a second and did y'all know he ever did this? Because this is <laughs> no, I did not. Yeah, Homelander, I didn't. Bro. that's fire. Homelander, I'm gonna need that. All right, the Homelander threw me off. Yeah, that was what I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, be ready. All right, oh, Jim, is that Jim Apparel? Wait, no, is that not? Wait, is that what'd you say, Mac McFarland? McFarland? Mac, let's go. Mac's on the board. Ooh, let's go. Oh, that was good. Dude, uh, McFarland did a cape. Man. Yeah, it's the cape. I knew the cape would, would get someone. <laughs> yep. I, I purposely I couldn't do Spider Man for McFarland. That would have been too. Yeah. Mac Farlin, let's go. Mac, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boom. Uh, Frank, Miller. Frank Miller. Yeah, Frank, that was Kevin again, huh? Wait, well, that oh, wait, was that Mac? I, okay. No, it's that hard was to, me. That was it's me. hard oh, to hear Mac. who was. All right, Mac. Boom, yeah, boom. Mac got it. Okay. I didn't say anything. I was we got like... four left, so it is still anyone's game. I will say. Okay. If, Come back season. But Come back king. But like, Come back. We'll have to get all of them or something. All right. Boom. George Perez. Nice, Damn. dude. I had no idea. Kevin. Not even <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> all right. So now at this point, I think Mac, you might have to get them all to to tie. But don't let's keep it, it going. No, Next I'm... up. Boom. Ollie. Daniel Warren Johnson. Daniel Warren Johnson? Wait, yeah, what? Kevin, I was like, if you don't get this one. Wait, did I not say that? You hey. did, but after Kevin did. Hey. The lag is killing me. I don't oh, even know bro. what the <laughs> hell this is from, but it's so sick. I think it's from, yeah, I don't know what it's from either. I'm like, <laughs> is that one thing? It's Dude, badass, I go, I, at first, bro, I thought that was a panel from Void Rivals. Like, straight up, just Low a key. random panel. Low key. I thought that was um from that Superman like a little short story, like because I just remember that one book with the white and blue. But it was some indie book. I'll, I'll find it after because regardless, it looks sick, and I want to check it out. Um, all right, we got two more. Kevin won, but these are for for shits and giggles. But <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, David Nakama. 
Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was I very... had to get that one or Nate was going to kill me. It was very hard to find a David Nakia piece of art that didn't have his DNA. So have his DNA on, on it. it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but not that his style is He does a lot of that. He put his DNA on like, it. Like, that's like gross. Bigger, bigger packaging art. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, he's done like Fortnite loading screens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last one. Who's going to get it? This last one. Screw this last one. It's worth five. And you still can't. <laughs> Unless Brandon gets it, actually. Brandon Unless I get it. Tie. No yeah. one say anything. <laughs> All right. Yo, oh, I can beat Kevin. Boom. Uh, Jock. Wow. Dang. Suck it, Kevin. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it wasn't worth five because then it's just going to oh. be a tie. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is going to be a tie. We're gonna, I, I don't oh, have a okay, tiebreaker. That's, that's fair. So. That's fair. Okay, go back to it. the one to name all the, uh, Kevin, all the Marvel characters. <laughs> Kevin is the champion of the guest, the artist. First round ever. No surprise here. I mean, so basically. <laughs> like he does it for a living or something. <laughs> yeah, for real. Wait, you're an I, artist? I don't, I, don't, I don't know any of these images. I just like guest names. <laughs> <laughs> they just happen to be right. Oh, yeah. I was like. All right. So then we got, do we want to pick the draft now or just when we get to it? We we'll can wait till we get to it. Yeah. All right. yeah. Okay, bet. Kevin, I just got to say, you're like my favorite artist, bro. Uh, uh, no, this is not kissing up or anything. You know, if you want to put me first or last in the draft, that's cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, right. I, I just can't be on the draft. You guys cannot draft me. That's just the rule. Hey, <laughs> there Dang it. My first pick. There go, there go all pick. four of my picks. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's yeah, well, like, all right, my first next? pick is myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right next up we're gonna jump in some where am i so basically prior to the king of the hill i am going to have a location that i've thought of from comic books marvel dc it's me so it's most likely dc um <laughs> and the location that i've picked you have 20 questions to try to guess it and that location will be the spite the fighting spot for king of the hill so i have my spot i know where i'm at nate you want to kick it off with our first question i do are you in the dc universe Yes, I am. Uh, what am I not? If you said no, that would have been funny. Right. <laughs> um, are you on Earth in the DC universe? Ooh, I am on Earth, yes. Savage. Are you in North, are you in North America? I think so, yes. I would be in North America, yes. I don't know why I think so. I, I, think, like, I think so. Or, okay. <laughs> I'm definitely in North America, yeah. I'm like, um, uh, are you um like a a very like frequented uh place? Like, do a lot of people go to this place? Frequently visited, yes. I'm not gonna say a lot of people. No. Mm, okay. Okay. Brandon's mom's house. Is that where we are? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you that's in... Max question? He's not allowed to have another question. <laughs> <laughs> are you in a uh, are you in a base of operations? I am in a base of operations. All right, I didn't make this one too hard. Are you in Washington, DC? Dude's having a brain blast. <laughs> I don't remember because it. I don't want to give it away. Just look it uh, up right quick. Or I guess you're filming on your phone, huh? Yeah, I don't this know. Guy. Um, I'm in a state, yes. Washington, D.C. is in a state. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't pick that place. He doesn't even know where it is. Well, it, it okay, I don't want to give it away, but it moves a lot. So it's like, I'm not sure the so exact then no. location. So no, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It moved. It could be currently in Washington D.C., but I'm not positive on it. Okay, let me address. You'll just, you'll it, just keep asking questions. Does it have wheels? No. Okay. Well, he said it moves a lot. Something this is like true. A, we're like in a... an RV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's just <laughs> over time. Man. Its location has moved throughout the United States. Oh, oh, I th you said it moved, so I thought you meant like it literally like moved. Okay, no, it is not in Washington, D.C. I know exactly where it's at, actually. What okay. book was that? Don't look at it, don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> turn around, everyone turn around. Let's see, that's his Batman show, so that's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. Who's up? Or who, do, who has an S1? Okay. Uh, I just asked if it had wheels. Oh, yeah, you just had oh. wheels, Kevin. Kevin, you got oh, one? Okay. 
uh like do the bat family like are they involved with this place Yes, I'd say. Okay, that's a yes. I'll take that. Hmm. Hmm. Is your place... What's it? He said, in North America, it can move... Is a base of operations. I didn't say it can move. I said or it has does to. has moved has moved. Yeah. 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 Um. Interesting. Is it a base of operations for heroes? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Is it a base of operations for magic heroes? Um, I'm gonna say not specifically. No. Okay. Yeah. Is it for a certain team, or is it for? That's most... not a yes or no question, Mac. Listen, listen. <laughs> is it for a certain team, or individuals? Like, how how am I trying to phrase this? Is it a is it a base of operation for like one specific team? Yes. Okay. If you just let me finish the sentence, then. Well, you change the sentence after. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't want to ask a question that like I don't know because I have an idea, but. You um, can guess it. That can just go be for it. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to oh. just guess it. Uh, how many more questions do we have? Uh, you're on your two each. Third. This is yeah, your third. Yeah, so two each. each. The um, do the is this a, a Teen Titans base? It is a Teen Titans base. Oh, dang! Okay, that, that was it. Is it no? I mean, you didn't guess because the they have multiple. Base. Okay, oh, okay. Is it in Bloodhaven? It is in Bloodhaven, yes. There you go. I did not even know they had it. Is it, multiple. Is it, is it Titan's Tower? Yes, it is Titan's Tower. Hey. <laughs> there kind of crazy no, you didn't know that that was in, in Washington, DC. I forgot in, that they moved to Bloodhaven. That's why. Because he got moved to Under Dark Crisis. It was in uh, San Francisco. Yeah, it was in San Francisco, yeah. yeah but now yeah. it's in Bloodhaven. I don't think it has yeah. it ever been in DC. My, my original guess, I don't like know. why I asked you about DC, because I thought you were at the uh, Hall of Justice, since Me it's too. really oh. big in comics right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, that's but what I thought. That doesn't move. I was not thinking of. I thought it wasn't Titans Tower because because you didn't know where it was. I thought you would have like known it was in Blade. That's, dude, I, I, so I that's why I was like, it can't be either. Titans Tower. I was thinking literally like Fer Ferris Ferris. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it was Titans Tower, but I was like, there's no way it's, it like, is. This is Air Force it. Is a team. I thought it was the Watchtower because you said it moved, and I was but like, that's not in like North America. So that's I thought about that too. That's like in, well, it's base. Well, hovers over. Well, yeah, well, Kevin, Kevin got it. <laughs> good stuff. Okay, I was just like, Gosh, oh, no, I didn't know. Kevin is clutch. <laughs> Kevin yeah, is clutch. That was some pretty good collaboration we had going on there. Now it's time to totally one eighty that and work against each other for the best segment on the pod. We have <laughs> King of the Hill. <laughs> so basically, what we're gonna do is we we throw some uh, powers into a hat, we throw some weaknesses into a hat, we all get one of each, and we duke it out, and we. Um, battle with our words on who's you know who's going to come out on top and why it's me every week um, True. i don't know if these are hats but uh we'll we'll go ahead and dive into it uh, we're gonna go with uh, kevin kevin's gonna get his first uh power okay kevin your first oh that sorry that, that didn't look right oh, <laughs> uh, kevin your first power is you have super healing okay Ooh, and nice ability to super here we don't know what a level of super healing it is it could be Deadpool. I would it say it's, it's super. It is. It no, would be I would, super. I would go for the Deadpool it's in the Wolverine name. aspect I would say of Deadpool, it. Yeah, yeah. If it's super. Okay. Thanks, but guys. But your weakness <laughs> is you're blind and deaf. <laughs> damn. And damn. That's yeah. like the worst. But oh, yeah. tip tone. You got the Helen Keller combo. <laughs> but I, I got super. I'm okay. going to be crouched. If, I'm going to be crouched in Fortnite <laughs> so you can't hear. You have no audio. <laughs> All right, Stu, you're next up on my layout, so we'll get you next. You Let's can go. control light. Cool. Oh, okay. That's 
I feel like Zeus had that one before. I think so. Yeah. So only there's only so many powers. But your weakness is no arms, no legs, just nubs. We're gonna call you Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so you both have the Helen Keller treatment. Um, ah, key. Yeah. Nate, I think I already know what you're thinking, too. And I think you're right. My layout. You have laser eyes. Let's go. Yeah. To me, my X Men. <laughs> <laughs> but you are constantly sneezing. That is dangerous. That's, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's terrifying that's... for me, but and y'all. <laughs> that's like, I'm, I'm just going to be uncontrollable. All right, Mac. You can master the combat of anyone. Ooh, some Taskmaster shit. Yeah. That's, that's dope. But oh, I think I got my own weakness. You have dementia. <laughs> Wait, that's <laughs> so you, you so you can't master. I'm, no, I'm like I'm an excellent fighter. I just have no idea why I'm fighting for I'm a second. Like... <laughs> yeah. And then for mine, this would have been great for Kevin, but everything you draw becomes real. Oh, dang! dang. Kevin out good. here with Ooh, sick figures ghost. coming alive. Yeah, but my weakness is extremely weak will. So normal everyday weakness for me. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, though, if anyone if anyone tests you, you're crumbling. Yeah, well, you're not going to test me because I'm drawing a wall. And uh, see, here's, I think I'm cooked. As much as I'd like to say, I might be able to get one person with a, a laser, <laughs> but I'm good. I'm whether I laser myself or anyone else, I'm just going to be sneezing. So like, I can't focus. <laughs> on the on the battle, and then Mac can't master anything. I, I, too. It's it, I think it might be Stu. Kevin, what was your power again? Uh, I got super healing, but like my eyes and my my the ears. Super don't healing, work. Is, yeah. I mean, you have nothing really offensive. But I guess. with the healing, healed the blind and deaf. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I guess oh. it, really, it cancels out though. Pro- probably, but either way, you don't really have any. I'm too, just you don't mean. have any offensive. <laughs> no offensive. I can draw a thousand stick mans a second, dude. I'm just stick man. But what are stick what are stick, man, stick man. what are stick man gonna do? They'll, they'll run and crawl in your mouth and you'll choke and die. But if they're stick, they're, if you're drawing, I mean, they're gonna be this big. So I have yeah. I have the ability. I've to control bigger. Right, right. I mean, like smaller. I mean, well, how many? How big of a piece Duke of paper do you got? Blind us. You could just well, blind us. I can do so. Many things, I think. I mean, it's got to be. I can draw something. Even with no arms. Light is crazy because my thing is. Could you not just give yourself arms and legs of light constructs? That is true. Oh. You can also, I mean, like, the light speed is theoretically... Wait, well, th- I was thinking, like, are my lasers a form of light? Oh. Because then I'm just going like, to... I'm going to laser, and then bro's just going to, like, turn them into dark side lasers and hit everyone. And then Oh, dude, done. yeah. Stu's just... Yeah, Stu wins. He's going to take your lasers and laser everybody. But... Yeah. And then he's okay, just but how does my drawing power work? Can I draw something and then it like spawns, or do I draw something and pull it off the page? You're like, like you're like Henry in the Purple Crane, where you're just like AK forty seven. Okay, theoretically so though, if I if I have the power of light, I could think at light speed, so like I can think before you even draw whatever you're drawing. I don't know about that. That's true. That's that's, that's, that's a stretch. Yeah. I envision light. controlling You're like not... I envision it like a green lantern. Yeah, but if you, if you change, it, just without a ring or a power battery, the density or anything, like or anything of light, everything changes with that. But how are you going to beat Kevin if he has Deadpool level healing? Just turn up the lights so then Brandon can't see what he's drawing, and then well, Dang. then I, w- I would just, be, oh. I would just be killing Kevin like. In- and then the second the lights are off, it's <laughs> it's going to be enough of an inconvenience for Brandon that he gives up. <laughs> you don't oh, have the will to push through. Will no will yeah. Keep going. To turn on the, the slightest inconvenience, so you're like, yeah, I'm done. Stu, but Stu can kill Kevin constantly. But Stu's gonna get tired. Eventually. What's Max? Well, Kevin, Max so, what's your power? Bro, I, yeah, wait, I, wait, I wait, yeah, wait. What was my power? I was. uh Oh, you fight any fight anyone, yeah, but you have dementia. Power. Yeah, we forgot. So, so, yeah, you the already box. forgot the dementia. Yeah, with light theoretically, I can create holographic images, turn invisible. And could move at light speed. Okay. Okay, but, but also, what are the level? Kevin can't of, die. What's the level of my laser eyes? If they're Cyclops level, then I actually could Loki just blow up the entire room right quick. But he just, oh, I guess. But he, but then Kevin would be good. Entire room, everyone's dead, but Kevin. But Kevin, Kevin's good. Dude, Kevin might <laughs> I'm win. just chilling. Kevin might win by default just by like King of the Hill. He just survived. Battle, battle royale. Yeah, I'm just like, 
You guys can kill me all you want. I'm I'm just chilling, man. Battle Royale. You and Kev, like no matter who's left against Kevin, y'all could fight for until the other person dies. Kevin will just keep healing. And we'll so just die of I exhaustion. Yeah, we die yeah. of exhaustion. But there's ways to kill, like Dead One Wolverine, right? There's yes, yeah, Wolverine has died. Wolverine died in uh, Dark Ages. That's the first thing that came to my mind, they, and it was Cyclops' also... blast. They killed him. They also ah. age like it's. But we said age. Deadpool level death. But the thing is, he his Wolverine and Deadpool has, are also, okay. level. But in, Dead, in Deadpool World's Greatest, he gets so old that he's not able to like heal anymore, and literally they just have him shackled up, so like he can't do anything. So that's I feel like that's a oh okay Kevin, but that's essentially <laughs> <laughs> but that's essentially like that's like essentially the same thing as beating someone. It's like to the point where like they can't do anything. I'd say that's winning. So if you are able to outlast Kevin into his out of his peak, out of his prime. Yeah, it's true. We don't necessarily win. have to kill each other. Like if Kevin quits, that's a that's an L as well. You know what I mean? If he's yeah. just like, all right, I'm tired of if dying. He pulls, yeah, if he walk pulls away a now. Strange, number one, then yeah. I'll just come back. I'll just I still think the constant sneezing is just I can't focus. Yeah. You like sneeze into your elbow and you're like oh, oh, sneezing and blowing a hole in but, the tiny tower. I could just sneeze and then just yeah, blow up everyone but Kevin I mean, and Kevin. then I'll just be sneezing. And then you'll eventually get yourself. Like because sneezing, you just can't control that. Possibly unless there's <laughs> 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 Dude, that was Media, Nate, right here. Yeah. Like if I'm cons exactly, <laughs> exactly. If I'm constantly sneezing though, actually maybe eventually I would like build a tall not a tolerance, like I wouldn't stop, but like my neck muscles would get strong as hell. To where I would just kind of be like, <laughs> What are you gonna do with strong neck muscles? No, like my head. Oh, we know what he'll do with strong neck muscles. <laughs> I wouldn't be like going He's got crazy. That strong neck game. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and then <laughs> boom, laser. And then boom, laser. Nah, on to real shit though. I do think it's Stu, Stu or Kevin Stu or by Kevin. durability. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta let us know in the comments who you think won exactly. overall. Yeah, let I us know. You guys it's neck and neck for me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Stu though. I think I'll give it to Stu too, just because like, I mean, eventually I'll die one day, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's fair, fair. We all die. One day. Yeah, Stu no, can just die of exhaustion how, eventually. No, that's what I'm Stu thinking. Can't feed himself. It? Stu can't feed himself. Well, you oh, can make, oh, oh, one of yes, like, the what, like what Nate was saying, what, yeah, exactly. Like what Nate was saying, theoretically, like I can just make my arms and legs out of. I mean, because you got Green Lanterns control life, like Lego you know pieces. what I mean? And so, like John Stewart just pretty much created a person. But exactly. you do have to eat, like, and if Kevin's coming at you constantly, you won't have time to eat, sleep, drink. We all got to eat. What, what do you mean? <laughs> but he can't We're die from not okay. eating because he heals. I mean, I don't know. This is this is why. With the, Comments, you're gonna let us know. That's fair. Who's That's winning? Fair. Stu or Kevin or me? Not play, but I, I just pointed at Stu on my screen. So if I'm pointing at like Nate, that's why. So that might make no sense. So I just want to point that out. <laughs> you're what my what <laughs> I see is what, Kevin on mine. <laughs> what I see is what the people see, and you pretty much you just pointed at no one. <laughs> pointed underneath you <laughs> down to a, to a black screen the comments the comments exactly the comments yeah, the, com the, com the, com the comments, comments. The comments. all right well now it's time right. like we said it's time for the comic book artist draft so basically like there's five of us so we're gonna do four picks each let's say yeah yep. four picks each. i think that's a, yeah best comic book artist of all time kevin go ahead and give us our our order since you won the the guest, the artist. You want it's to a go? it's a snake draft too. Yeah, snake so draft. Keep that in mind. So once like the, the last person will go twice. You know what I mean. And then the first person will go twice when it comes back to them. And yeah. And the stipulation is you can either go first or last since Nate had to be a judge, and then he'll either go the opposite of whatever you go. So you can pick first or last, and then you can put everyone else with her. Yeah. All right. Uh. So uh, I'll go first, <laughs> and then <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, choose uh Stu, Nate. Mac and Brandon. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Hey, Brandon, I I actually might be helping you out if you really think Brandon's about it. Yeah, last was the first four good picks. Okay, so Kevin. if I I just wrote that, you said right. uh, Kevin, Nate, Stu, Mac, Brandon. Kevin, Stu, Nate, Mac, Brandon. Let's go. All right. Well then, let's go. kick it off. All right. Uh, I gotta first go with my pick. guy, Daniel Warren Johnson. Respect. Okay. That's a respectable that pick. 
So then, shit. Ah, <sighs> okay. Is it me? First, no, it's Stu. It's Stu. Oh, Stu, 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 Stu. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and me, 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 me. I wrote that down wrong. There we go. First, bro, I got to take Jim Lee. I got to take him. You suck. I'm going to find I you. I'm surprised you went with Jim Lee first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know. My turn. Let's yeah. do. Jim Lee's a great pick. I have a couple I'm going through, but I. I'm confident that my second pick is going to be able to make it to my second pick, so I'm going to take Alex Ross. Oh, thank God. W. I am going with – oh, mm. nobody's going to take him. I'm going to go with Peach Momoko. Damn. Okay, sweet. Damn. Dude, all right, I got back-to-back pick, picks. I'm taking uh, I'm taking Dan Mora and Jorge Muniz. Easy. You're All welcome, right. Brandon. <laughs> Thank you. That was actually a good. I appreciate that. Yeah. I thought those were going to take it off the bat. So that's fire. Me that's too, fire. actually. Me too. All right. Number two, I'm going with. I'm gonna go with Mike Mignola. Okay. That's that's a, that's a sleeper, bro. Come on. Oh, back to me. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I did. It, it survived. Second pick. Give me Jack Kirby. Mm. Damn. Oh, I, yeah. I think I already Dang, won. I, oh, okay. I got Alex um, Ross and Jack Kirby. Okay. Next, I'm going to take George Perez. Nice. I wanted that one, I wanted that one third. Okay. All right. Uh, so I get two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Darwin Cook. That's a good Oh, one. nice. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Tim Sale. Dang. Nice. Yeah. That was my next pick. Those are good picks. <laughs> RIP Goats mm. right there, bro. Man. Yeah, next up, give me Todd McFarland. No! That's what <laughs> I was just going to take. God damn it. Oh, man. I just chalked everything. Everything is screwed. Actually, no. Steve Dicko. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go with Otley. Nice mm, to pick mm, a pick. Oh, that's a good one. I'm getting all the old heads. My list is actually kind of good this time for once. <laughs> okay, so these are my last two picks. Last two. We're only doing yeah. four. Oh, this is tough. Um, I'm gonna go Bruno Redondo for my third. Nice, Bruno. Dang it! You really took my Tim Sale pick. Um. I think number four, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Ivan Reyes as my number Oof. four. Nice. I, yeah. I completely blanked out on him, but yeah, he's okay. okay. I'm gonna go with another sleeper. I'm gonna go with James O'Barr for the Crow. One of the best comic <laughs> books of all time. Okay. Nice. That's a W pick. All right, man. It's my last pick. It's tough. Do I want to keep it on the track I'm going? Do you want just going with the legends, or do I want to? You know, I, I, this one's for me. This one's for me. David Nakayama. Dub. Oh, nice. I think my list alone is going to carry the first three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last up. Oh, brother, still a lot of good ones. I don't think anybody said it. I'm gonna take Bruce Tim. Bruce mm-hmm. Tim's good. I had Bruce Tim on there. That's a that's a good one. Good pick. Nice. And then last one, uh, I I go with uh, uh, for All Star Superman, Frank Quietly. Ah, uh, uh, nice. That's who I was just thinking okay. of maybe doing instead of. But I was like, you know what? I'll go. That's a W pick. All right. So Army that's it. Really wanted to take Daniel Sampier because it's Wonder Woman and Superman, dude. He's, I dude, love he's cooking Sampier. in Wonder Woman. He's cooking. I almost yeah. took Chris Samney. I'm a big fan of Chris Samney. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. I like his style. Playman. Uh, Clay Man uh, is a Clay great Man, one. Dude. Yeah, Clay Man is one of my favorite artists of all. Clay yeah. Man. There's so many we could. I mean, yeah, yeah, I there's had, so many. Almost so I, took uh, Capulio. Oh, oh yeah. great! Yeah. That would okay. be a great one. Yeah, but so yeah, yeah I, I had usual. Jack Kirby on mine, but for I love Damn. his collage. I don't like a lot of his other art, but his collages are amazing. If you have never checked them out, facts. Me personally, oh, yeah. I went more modern. I I saw all y'all were going for iconic. I just went for the like, goats, hey. man. I went for the goats. I got I got Alex Ross, Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko. All comic art that I have a hard time reading. So. <laughs> mm. 
Teach but around. You, you you ain't voting on the draft. <laughs> Everyone at home is let us know who got the best list and who 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 are your favorite artists. Wh- who did we not pick and everything like that? Y'all y'all know the drill. Let us know. Heck yeah. But now y'all Number just want to talk about commented things. Going to be Frank Miller was snubbed. <laughs> I do. I literally <laughs> thought about taking him. I thought about taking. I him thought about taking him. Yeah, he's a massive took Frank Miller. Face. I would have got up and walked off the. <laughs> Damn, I should have taken Frank so Miller. <laughs> I should have taken him. Fuck. <laughs> All right, but now let's let's go ahead and jump in. And at end of each episode, we're going to talk about the, the the most anticipated books um that are coming out the upcoming Wednesday. What are you guys hyped for? A lot. Uh, I, I would, I would say my most Comic anticipated Geeks. book is Green Arrow, number 10. I, I'm so hyped. I agree. Yeah. Green Arrow, especially after that, that cliffhanger on the last one. Yeah. yeah. He's about to break in the sanctuary to get all the secrets for Waller. Dude, it's it's insane. That's my favorite okay. ongoing right now. Oh, same Kevin, with The are you... Flash. I forgot that comes out. Mm. Kevin, are yeah. you reading any ongoings right now? Oh, The Flash. Oh. No, honestly, I, I'll just listen to you guys. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's what I'm Ultimate, Ultimate number three. Ultimate yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Man yeah. Number three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you there you go. That cool yeah. homage variant, uh, the one where he like he's throwing the laundry in the basket instead of it being in the trash yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. Like, that one is cool. That one is cool. Um, um ooh, this is a big one. I'm not reading it, but just so everyone knows, um, Miles Miles Morales Spider-Man Legacy 300 comes out this week. Yeah, Legacy yeah. 300. Yeah. So it's gonna be a big oversized book, a lot of cool variants and stuff like that. So that's a good one to check out. Uh, all the number ninety seven. Oh, good. It's a good book. No, I was just gonna say Alan Scott Green Lantern is another so good, book good out. dude. I am that's facts. That that ending on the yeah. last issue was amazing. Yeah, bro, so good. Dude, uh, X ninety seven is getting its own comic tie into the show. So I have to check that out. Actually, out. I was Ooh, I, yeah. I wasn't gonna, but yeah. now that I now that I'm a little bit, con- I got some questions, so I might as well check it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, a lot of good Spider Verse uh, number two. The first one was pretty good. Stu, you read that one, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm picking was, that up. Yeah, I got to check that, that shit one out. Got me hooked right from the jump. I uh, I didn't put it on my pull list at first, and then I picked it up when I went back to the store, and I actually liked it. It was dope. Yeah, I copped it. I has, just haven't read the first issue yet. Has anyone read Superman cool. Space Age? No, I want to. Oh, okay, well, to. the creative team of that is making the first issue of uh, Batman Dark Age. This come. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like the same creative team as Superman Space Age. Oh, okay. Damn, I have to yeah. check that out. Oh, um, ooh. Sam, uh, Sam and Twitch. The, those are the two detectives in a uh, spawn, and they're getting Spawn's a uh, a run. Oh, I heard I'm about that. So yeah, I saw that. For that. That's dope. But more expansion of the universe is cool. I've never yeah. read any spawn. I got to. Dude, it took me. I'm not lying. Mm. It took me to issue eighty till I was like really into spawn. Yeah, then maybe I shouldn't <laughs> read any spawn. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. It's good. Oh, uh, the six fingers know. number two. One hand and six yep. fingers is my shit. Everyone needs to check that out. Duke number four. Energy on Universe yeah. for life. Yes, sir. The uh, conclusion of Amazon's Attack, number six, comes out as well. I haven't been reading it. Oh, oh yeah. It's, uh, just... it's Jody Campbell, so it's fire. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. Jody, Jody Campbell, yeah. I'll probably pick it up in trade. I just saw this. Ghostbusters back in town number one looks like the art is inspired by the characters that are in the movie. Might have okay, to so that it might be a, a prequel or something. Yeah, That's, or, yeah, cool. Prequel. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Detective Comics 1083, Ren B, con- continuing it. And Ricardo Federici is back on the art. I love Ricardo Federici. I definitely need, I haven't read any of Ron B's Detective. I need to pick it up and trade. I yeah, and then we got Power Girl number seven. Detective. I haven't read you it yet. Haven't? It's so good. I haven't done Detective I, in general, yeah. I, I, I When I was going to pick between Action Comics and Detective, I chose Action Comics. Oh, yeah, that's fair. They're both really good. Um, Superman. This is the best Detective Comics since James Tenyon's Rebirth Detective Comics. Like, okay, bet. Mozzie is I, mean, I love Ron V, good, so I gotta check it out. Dude, it's amazing. And uh, Power Girl 7 comes out, but it's just her and that little Supergirl team up, so it's kind of just meh right now. But 8, eight is gonna be the House of Brainiac tie-in, so it's gonna, it's gonna pick good. back up, for sure. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like... A lot of heat. Lot yeah, of heat. That's about it. Crown of Thorns is coming in Flash number 7, too. So... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so... Y'all know the drill. Hey, that's the yes is get cop the heat, but that's gonna do it for this episode. But before we head out, Kevin, tell t- tell the people what you got going on, where they can find you, all that kind of good stuff. All right, thanks. Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok uh, at Kevin Tran Art underscore, and um, 
hit me up if you guys are interested in anything. The big uh, thing I got going on this upcoming or next up like next weekend is uh, WonderCon. I'll be there. Uh, I'm gonna be opening up a pre-convention commission list. So if you're gonna happen to be at WonderCon or even interested in a commission piece uh, already, uh, just DM me. Let me know, and uh, I can have it done for you. And like along with the like the orders that I will be making for uh, the event. So. Yeah, besides that, um, I got uh, my first comic book, The Overkiller, like you guys mentioned, uh, coming very soon. So just keep following me on my socials, and you guys will definitely be updated throughout the process of uh, the creation of that book. Hell yeah. Awesome, man. Everyone, please go yeah. check him out. He really, really kills everything he does, so everyone make sure to go show him some love. Mm -hmm. And thank for you sure. for coming yeah, on, bro. Yeah. yeah, man. Good thank blast. you for coming. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, man. Anytime. Got to run it back. But per usual, that'll do it for this episode of the Holland Nerds Podcast. Make sure you tune in next week for a brand new episode. Nerd on. Kevin, you want to do it? Nerd out. Hey, hey yeah, yeah. let's go. Hey.